you are looking at the Westry Wife, the earliest carving of a human form so far found in Scotland. It's also called the Orkney Venus. Unearthed in 2009 on the Orkney island of Westry, it's just one of many thousands of discoveries that have been made in the islands. Spanning almost 6,000 years, Orkney's past has proved a rich treasure trove for the archaeologist. A great deal of what's been discovered about our past has been the result of an accident or natural events. Perhaps the best known of all is Scarabray, the Neolithic settlement hidden under sand for almost 4,000 years. In the mid-19th century, a huge storm exposed the well-preserved dwellings of the time. Walls, passageways, fireplaces, sleeping quarters, and places to store the simple needs of Neolithic life. Here, on the island of South Ronaldsey, cultivations by a farmer in 1958 led to the accidental discovery of the Tomb of the Eagles. What started with a few flagstones soon revealed an enormous burial chamber. The farmer found axe heads and other small implements. And shockingly, in the gloom, the remains of a long-dead people of the time, mysterious and mystical. Our searching continues. We're here at the Ness of Brodgar, at the very heart of Orkney's World Heritage Site. Archaeologists are busy with one of the most exciting discoveries that Orkney has yet seen. It's a Neolithic settlement that's attracting worldwide interest. Each summer, when excavations are underway, Visitors can get a grandstand view and up-to-the-minute interpretation of the archaeologists' painstaking work. The scale of the works here is breathtaking. Magnificent new discoveries being made here aren't just revealing how our Neolithic ancestors lived. We've learned that 5,000 years ago, Orkney was one of the most important places in the British Isles, home for a growing and innovative civilization. This was a very special place. Archaeologists believe the stone circles and earth hinges found here are at least a century older than anything seen in the rest of Scotland or England. It seems that these constructions swept south from Orkney through the British Isles, appearing hundreds of years later in Wiltshire, most famously at Stonehenge. Is it any wonder that these excavations are considered even more important and exciting than Stonehenge? Very close by is another Orkney archaeological wonder, the Ring of Brodgar, a circle of stones in the heart of Neolithic Orkney. Come here at any time of year and find the place full of moods and even more mystery. How did the stones get here? How were they placed? What significance did this perfect circle, which once had 60 upright stones, have for the Neolithic peoples who built it? We know that this 5,000-year-old chambered tomb here at Mays Howe is the finest in northwest Europe. In the mid-12th century, Viking crusaders broke into the tomb and left us their early graffiti, runic inscriptions on the walls of the inner chamber. Look out for the intricate Mays Howe dragon, which features strongly in local designs. But could they have been aware that the tomb was a form of astronomical timepiece? that every winter solstice would bring the unique occurrence of the sun's rays onto the end wall of the inner chamber, that it's perfectly lined up with a watchstone which stands alone in a field a mile away. So many mysteries, so much yet to discover and interpret about the earliest times in this unique gathering of islands. From our earliest inhabitants to recent times, there's much more here in Orkney than you might imagine.